good morning from our freshly shoveled sidewalk. It is snowing like crazy here today. Whoa, when did that happen? We are so happy that you're here. Oh, we daily vlog. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow. Who do you got? Wow. <laughs> It is her birthday tomorrow. Evie turns five, which is nuts. Um, it has been snowing all day. Today we are watching Alice in Wonderland, which James has been like really into. I mean, he likes colorful, he likes music, so Alice in Wonderland has been a hit. Um, and I have therapy today at one, which is great because I have not been able to... I just had to show what James was pumped about. I haven't been able to like make it consistent since we've been back from Florida. So, I'm excited. Everyone says that James looks like me. But look at those matching eyebrows. We're sad because our canine, our top canine teeth, are coming in. I'm gonna finish up dinner and I just got all of your shirts and coffee mugs ordered for our big dopey challenge like fundraising push that we did at the end of last year. Um, we finally got like all of the sizes and addresses situated and so I placed the order today so thank you guys so so much for one helping us reach our dopey goal um last year that's like kind of what that last fundraiser push was for but also just in general all of the support that you've given to us and american cancer society over the years what is our like our number at like We're lifetime? just under thirty thousand like we've raised almost thirty thousand dollars in the past three four years um which is incredible and again this year we were what is it called? Pace setters. Pace setters. Um, which is a big deal. We get like recognized for like raising more than five thousand dollars within the year. Yeah, there's only hundred and twenty eight. A hundred and twenty eight total pace setters. So you guys are so much a part of that. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so excited for you guys to get your shirts and to have a little handwritten note from us. Um and all that so the shirts are ordered and I will give another update as far as like shipping and stuff soon all right we got a lot going on for dinner right now we are doing tostadas so this is impossible meat with onion and some taco seasoning we got black beans going that I'm gonna like mash up and have as like our base on the tostada um, salt pepper cumin and some lime juice in there and then I've had these chicken breasts slowly cooking all day like like you would in a crock pot we don't have a crock pot um anymore we used to but I think when we downsized we got rid of it so these have just been slowly cooking on the stove top all day in a little bit of taco seasoning and salsa I'm about to show you a hack for shredding chicken I have not done it myself but somebody that I follow on Instagram, like we've been plant-based since I follow them and they swear by it. And that is using like a hand mixer. So we're gonna see how it goes. So sure enough, this is working like a charm. Easy peasy and then easy to clean too. And then last out of the oven are potatoes. I baked the potatoes earlier in the day and then just now while I was getting the rest ready, I added in a can of like tomato with green chili, like Rotel brand. Um, added in that and some like carne asada seasoning on top for 
our slide. Here is Peter's plate with the impossible um, meat tostadas. I'm also going to bring out some ranch and hot sauce. And here is my plate with the shredded chicken. How are you doing over there, Daddy? The weekend. How was dinner? Dinner was delicious. Those plates were heavy. Yeah. <laughs> you got some dinner on your shirt, bro. Our four part vlog is exporting. It <laughs> will go up tonight. Happy to be on the weekend? Yeah. What a weird week, Peter. It was a very strange week, and I just want to go to Epcot. Like our family is going to right now. <laughs> like our family was going to right now, like Megan and Katie were last night. Mm -hmm. Like everybody who got to enjoy the wonderfulness of the best festival of the entire world any day this week, we were at Epcot. Are you all clean and ready for bed? I did not brush his hair fast enough and it dried kind of wonky. <laughs> Alright, it's been a minute since we updated. It's 9.26. Um, so I decided yesterday, late, that today, even though it's Friday and it's the weekend now, that we were gonna start our weekend off on the best foot possible. And so we've we've been like, the, you know, we've just, we've we've come to that like final stage of unpacking. And you know, when we're not fully unpacked, you can't fully keep your house running to a hundred percent. So what we're doing tonight, even though it's Friday night is just not room by room by room knocking this this apartment out cleaning it up i just spent the last bit of time uh cleaning out the fridge doing dishes just swept and cleaned the whole kitchen i'm gonna move on over to the dining room now which actually still has some like has my medals out that i think i showed you in like oh like a week and a half ago or two weeks ago's vlog or something like that um we still have got like james's Florida clothes folded out. I can't put those away tonight because he's going down right now. Um, but it's just like getting, you know, the our home set up so that tomorrow morning when we wake up, boom, it's the weekend, it's party time. It's gonna be a good, good time. So that's what we've been up to. That's the, the game plan for tonight. Look at this place. I just wanna, just wanna be there right now, you know? See this? Greatest movie of all time. Maybe, maybe I'm gonna watch that tonight after we're done cleaning. Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoy today's cold video, make sure you come back every day. Um, it snowed all a lot of yesterday, and uh, today's Eve's birthday. But I'm running over to 7-Eleven because Sarah needs a cold pop and a donut. So I'm walking over to 7-Eleven to grab that. I think she needs some candy too. And then uh, I think we're gonna get our day started here. One hack that we love are these little holders for pouches. They like these pouches for like <coughs> little snacks throughout the day. We're also transitioning Jamesy to milk. So if he doesn't drink as much milk like as he typically would formula, it's a nice little boost of known as tummy is full. But these I'll link from Amazon. They make him not squeeze it all out and it make a big mess. Like pouches can be when little ones are still trying to figure out their strength. So it's a nice little holder. You can suck it down. And it's great and they're great in the car too. Okay. One of our road trip hacks for sure. I'd say that's a significant 7-Eleven haul for a Saturday morning. It is so cold. It's it's like the with wind chill. It's it's one degree today. Um, so we're gonna go back, have some of these snackaroonies, and then we have to go get Eve a birthday present. So that's what we're gonna be doing first off. James is unloading our treats for us. This is what I'm most excited for. Jamesy, you gotta come see this. You gotta come see this. Ooh, apple fritter. 
Master Class just dropped a uh, Professor Terrence Tao series, and I'm very excited. So I don't think I've mentioned it too many times, but I actually have, technically I have a mathematics degree. I always say I have like half of two degrees because I've got a bachelor's of mathematical computer science. So I went like halfway to a mathematics degree, halfway to a computer science degree, but I have a vast appreciation for mathematics and one of my favorite books of all time was actually an English class I took at UIC but it was an English class based around a subject the teacher did that every time and I think I actually convinced him to do the next math English class based on just Disney reads but my class I was in with him was all based around mathematics reads and so I read this book called the calculus diaries which I always tell everybody who's intimidated by numbers or math to read this because it tells you Super easy read, but teaches you how math is everywhere. This is called The Calculus Diaries, How Math Can Help You Lose Weight, Win in Vegas, and Survive a Zombie Apocalypse. And as you can see on there, roller coaster with some mathematical equations on how it works. It just kind of like open drives to like, literally math is everywhere, from how this camera's working, to how the baby's diaper is keeping him clean, to how Many people eat dinner at Casey's Corner in a night, so um, I'm excited for this master class. Oh no, it's so sunny. <laughs> We're gonna go on a few errands, including getting Eve some celebratory birthday fun. We gotta go to the hardware store first, okay? <laughs> Aaron, done. I didn't vlog at all, but we stopped by the hardware store to get wood glue and some. Grommets? Is it maybe that's what they're called? Pegs? And this little girl is just having a gas in the snow. <laughs> She's gonna be tuckered out soon, but we're going to a, a pet store up here, like another block down the road, to see about getting her a birthday treat or a toy or something. Because she's five today. We are going into Wiggilyville Pet Boutique for Evers. What? You see that cat? There's a pretty kitty cat up there. <gasps> Dang! We're gonna get her this birthday cake. Look at all these <clears throat> cute cookies. Okay, Evie, let's reveal your new harness. Oh my gosh! You look like a big girl! Okay, we have one last place to stop before we go back home. Eve, like, she just isn't in it for the long haul. Um, so there, we have to play a game of like catch up. Like I walk ahead and I call her and then she runs. Um, but yeah, I don't think I mentioned that I had gone to the eye doctor, updated my prescription. So I am um, gonna pick up my new trial contact lenses. And actually I ordered glasses online instead of straight from my eye doctor and those should be coming soon too so I'll definitely share my experience I use Zenny optical um, once they arrive which honestly they're on their way it should be any day one last stop is Starbucks for a pop cup and a little drink for me cake pop for Jamesy most importantly it was for Evie and her pop cup Why is hair so major? Am I dependent on snacks? Are bugs gorgeous Friends. or gross? Do you want to let her walk her hand My favorite human. <laughs> my favorite human besides anyone in my family has their own Netflix show now. Jonathan Van Ness. Should we start it? Sure. James woke up, so he's gonna have some blueberries. He also got really aggressive this morning and headbutted our, our bed, and that's why that bruise in the front of his forehead is there. Uh, we got the wood glue because I need to, this piece was actually fine, but we're gonna wood glue this and clamp it together for 30 minutes, and then we're gonna get it back on the leg because this is Sarah's editing post. Oh, I forgot to look for little pads for the bottom. That's all right. I meant to when I was in the store. It's literally the perfect size table for the laptop. It's been fine without it, but it is just so convenient. Yeah, this like detached, like the, like it got, that's why we bought these. So I could reattach it and I got some wood glue to make sure it's good and sturdy. You gonna help me?
Or you just want some more blueberries? No pants Saturday for lunch. <laughs> he was wearing jeans. He was. We're making uh, taco salads. So I just got chicken. I got some beyond leftover beyond. Oh, impossible. Or impossible beef. And I'm also making a fancy pot of my Christmas whiskey barrel aged Guatemalan reserve. Ooh. Trying to gauge. It's almost two o'clock. You should probably take a nap. After lunch. Yeah, he took like a big nap in the stroller. Yeah. Every time I forget how cold it is, I want to like go out on an adventure tonight and then I realize <laughs> I want to cry within like 30 minutes of being out in the world. Right. And I'm a stubborn fool, and even though we have a parking spot now and there's a lot of good accessible parking downtown, I just don't like the uh, concept of driving the like two miles downtown when you've got the buses and the CTA and everything. But maybe that's the solution to it being cold. If we have like a destination, we can just hop in the car, drive to it, park. It's a real game changer having a parking spot. Yeah, it's one degree out with wind chill. He says, give him more tomatoes, lady. Some tortilla, some chicken, some tomato, roast beef, a chicken, a pizza. <laughs> I'm gonna give him some banana pepper too. I like that. We're eating in our kitchen actually, in our little table. There's mine. Wow. There's Sarah's. What's that sauce? It's like the vegan mayo, ketchup, seasoning, salt, hot sauce combo. Mm. I call it Christina sauce. I forget what it's called. <laughs> But the girl is wide awake. She was just knocked out in the hallway from her little adventure. And she heard all the, the food. So she had to see what was up. Mmm. Jamesy, where are we off to? Peter just always gonna pull a prank on me and open the sunroof. So this is our plan for the night. We ordered a plant-based stuffed pizza. Or is it deep dish? Pizza. Deep dish pizza from somewhere called My Pie in Bucktown. So we are going there to pick it up. And then our other plan is to go to Best Buy and get a sound bar. Is that still true? I think so. Peter's been going back and forth. We also had to go to Target and get um, prenatal vitamins and some Tums for me because my heartburn has been really bad. James took that short nap earlier and then like didn't want to take a normal nap. So we're hoping for a car nap. So that's why we're like venturing out in the car to see just like a little farther away. We don't have to get on public transportation. This is where our parking spot really comes in clutch. Um, and then we bought Dear Evan Hence in the movie and we're gonna watch that tonight and do some planning for our February trip to Florida. Some things have changed. We're not really sure what we want to do anymore as far as time and where we want to stay and we kind of need to get that situated as like February is right around the corner. So tonight that's like we're going to do a little bit out and a little bit in. Bought an open box soundbar so we'll see about setting that up when we get back. We are in Bucktown and here we are. My pie unique pizza in a pan. Uh, we got garlic bread and a vegan deep dish that should be ready for pickup oh i watched them cut it right in front of me wait until you see this pizza we got garlic bread yes. not plant-based yes. <laughs> oh gosh and but our deep dish is plant-based half just garlic, half garlic and jardinier. Reaction. Um, I have the jardinier piece first. You can definitely tell it's the like dye vegan cheese. Mm -hmm. And vegan cheese is usually really oily, especially when it melts. So like, I, mine feels more normal because I know I have jardinier. So like I'm imagining that the oil is from the jardinier. Mm -hmm. Not from a vegan cheese, but it is not typical beef dish. Yeah. I think that like all the other ingredients are good, so it's like good. Oh, he ran out of pieces. Um, that that good. yeah, it just like coats your mouth. Mm -hmm. 
but like I get how like the oil would help with the jardiner. Okay, after more than just one bite of that pizza, initial reaction and actually no, thank you, and actually eating it, we will never do wrong by <laughs> Chicago deep dish pizza again. I don't know, just no, no more, no more s'mores. At least we tried it though, right? Yeah, at least we tried it. You can't it. knock something until you try it. Right. Both of us are in our Matrix shirts. James is kind of in a Matrix shirt. And we're gonna have to get used to telling him not to touch this. <gasps> Did you find out your friends? I wanted to see James realize that Party Source Rex was on. Dance, dance, dance. <laughs> it's your birthday. I'm gonna sing you happy birthday. Jamesy. That's for Evie girls. For puppies. We have we have brownies for us. Cause I I was thinking this would happen. Evie girl. Five years old. Five years old for the puppy. Evers. Happy birthday to you, cha cha cha. Happy birthday, dear Evers. Happy birthday to you. We had Evie eat her cake in peace. Only half, not the not the full thing. She's just a little pup. I half expected it to be all gone. <laughs> Where is Jamesy? Where's Jamesy? I haven't seen him in days. Oh, Jamesy, where are you? Where's Jamesy? <laughs> ah, there he is. <laughs> Go to Daddy. Jamesy. Come here. What? You see Eve? <laughs> Where'd he go? Where'd James go? Oh, gosh. Oh, you fall Look over. at the mess over there. Do you see this hair? I mean, it's my hair looks bed. luscious. Yeah, mine looks like a banshee's. <laughs> um, we'll give you an update on the Florida trip tomorrow. Yes, and our other, like, our trips throughout the rest of the year. 2022 plan. Yeah. Um, we've been watching Getting Curious, Jonathan Venice. We were loving it. It's, if you have listened to the podcast, it feels reminiscent to that. Mm -hmm. If you haven't listened to the podcast, just at least give one of the episodes that's on, like, gender norms and how they should yeah. be, like, read up on and understood more and how and they need to past, change Moving and grow. past, um, like, the very binary world that we yeah. live in. Anyway, yeah, such a good, such a good show, and I just love Jonathan so much. She really does the whole time. She's just <laughs> I just swooning smile over him. The whole time. Um, we're gonna go to bed. We have to, uh, a brunch tomorrow morning. Yeah, so. we decided we're gonna make Sunday brunch, like try new restaurants. Oh, I forgot that, that that's what we we're doing. Yeah, going forward, I thought it was tomorrow. It's just fun. I yeah, forgot that's gonna like, be the new thing. Yeah, something fun to look forward to every week. It's good to be home. Good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>